América despierta. Entérate de esta noticia sin censura. Dios los bendiga. Look, the way the founders created this government, which is so amazing, the House passes the bill, the Senate can pass the bill, and then we can go to conference. Unfortunately, the Senate under Schumer, the only thing I think they passed, what I've noticed is March is Maple's main maple syrup. I don't know if they want that in the bill or not, but I would entertain that. <laughs> There is nothing to go to conference with a Democrat idea. And the sad part, when I sit with the Democrats, their ideas are old. You know what they think? We should just tax more. But anyone who would look at what's going on, if you look at the 50-year average of what is, comes in from the taxpayer of America, normally we bring in 17% of our GDP. Right now, we're bringing almost 20%. Do you know how many times in modern history that has ever happened? That much? Only two times. In 1944 and 2000. But if you look at how much this government is spending, on a 50-year average, we usually spend 21% of GDP. He's at 23.6 going to 25. It is not a revenue problem. It is a spending problem. And any time you want to talk about, these are the people that are defending Social Security and Medicare. Because the Congressional Budget Office says, if we go the course that President Biden wants us to go today, three trust funds go insolvent in the next 10 years. Never in the history of America have we ever seen a 10-year window like that. Social Security, Medicare, and the Highway Trust Fund. Do you know what happens then? They automatically get cut by more than 20%. Mr. President, stop hiding. Stop traveling somewhere else. America wants an American president focused on American problems, finding American solutions. We have them here for you. Yes, Look, I, I go in the room as well, my staff, and um, the president has put two people in there. If there's certain topics come in, I'll have certain other members come in and talk as well. The difficult part here is the timeline. We didn't act based upon what Yellen said, because she said this was months later. We acted because we never wanted to be here. This is the worst way to govern. And I hope the American people see that the Republicans in the House do not ignore problems. The Republicans in the Senate want to take it up, but Schumer won't allow it. <coughs> we take action and find solutions, and that's the way we want to go. Yes, ma'am. Look, he's the President of the United States, he's a grown man, he can make a decision where he wants to go. And he could travel any place he wants. The only thing I know, if you thought for the last 97 days you were never going to negotiate, what are your priorities? I think America wants us to solve American problems first. He can decide whatever he wants to do. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think it's going anywhere, for one. Secondly, you're sitting here with senators who have 45 who sign it's not going to do it. So is that even sensible?
Is that even being productive? Is that even reasonable? Or is that responsible? It seems to me that would be playing into a Biden default. I think America public is tired of those political games. You know, when we devised our bill, it wasn't a bunch of Republicans saying, let's just give these Republican ideas. When we talk about work requirements, Senator Biden voted for that. President Clinton signed it into law. We watched every study after the fact take people from poverty and provide a job for them. So we saw Americans lifted up. We saw welfare rolls drop. We saw more people have houses, more people could afford to send their kids to college. We saw the positive now. When we thought about, what about limiting the growth of government in the future years? We didn't say we had to cut every year. We saw a Democrat Senator Manchin propose a 1% growth each year. We tried to grab things that both sides, even if they wouldn't talk to us, Let's put something together to make sure it's reasonable. I will tell you, if it was Chip Roy and Dusty and I sitting in a room and we were going to draft something that we said just we want, it would have looked different. But we wanted to be reasonable and sensible. Do we, does the American public think it's wrong if we simply say let's spend what we spent five months ago? But every moment I've spent with the president, he doesn't want to go there. He does not want to go back one dollar. I didn't ask him, what, what is finally the number? Is it $40 trillion in debt? How much before you say, let's stop borrowing from China and not looking at places that we're wasting our money? Every household does that and we should do it too. Yes, sir. Well, I've watched um, Congressman Graves. He, he's been elected to, or appointed to our leadership table, and he's worked with all the different groups, and he's really been the individual that helped bring people together in crafting the bill itself of Limit, Save, Grow. So he has a clear understanding of where our members are. So when you're sitting in that room, I didn't want to put somebody in that room, you know what I'm saying? He is a former staffer. He's a former um, member working in government. He understands policy. Many people would call him a policy wonk. But at the same time, my staff is in there with him as well. So we want as many voices and many understandings of where the bill went and what we would like to see for a conclusion. Yeah, we, we talk we talk very frequently. I go in the room as well. So I, I think if the if the administration can make decisions with the president out there, we'll be okay. Yes, sir. Look, what happens now is, you know, with Schumer and the president saying all along, I won't negotiate the debt thing, they have to be separate. You don't have the time to play those political games anymore. Um, it takes so many days to get through the Senate, so many days through the House. We have a 72 hour rule, which I'm not going to break. I think the American public and all the members should have 72 hours to read what we end up with if we're able to end up with it. Um, I think the House should go first and we can send it to the Senate. I know that uh, the, the Senate, I guess, is out of session, but I'm sure they'll come back. ¿Y tú dime qué opinas? Déjame tu comentario. Gracias.